welcome to another MAC face chart look. The first one that I did was from the Wonder Woman collection and this one I have been waiting for quite some time to do and I'm so excited to show it to you guys. It's from the Viva Glam Gaga 2 promotional picture where Lady Gaga has her new um, Viva Glam lipstick out and this is what it looks like. It's called Viva Glam Gaga 2 and it's a really nice neutral kind of like a warm taupey color and it's just gorgeous. It's an amplified cream finish so it goes on very opaque on the lips. And then the Viva Glam Gaga 2 lip gloss and this is what it looks like. It's the same thing, just a warm neutral taupey color. This is the face chart look. I didn't use the exact same products that she did in her face chart but I kind of, you know, just used what I had and this is what I came up with. And on the lid I show you two different ways on how to do the lid color. So I hope that kind of helps you out. But yeah, the face is very, very, like, you know, just one tone. The lips are very one tone. There's just a slight wash of peach on the cheeks, and that's pretty much it for the look. So I'm going to show you guys the tutorial. I hope you enjoy it, and stay tuned if you want to find out how to get this look. So in the promo picture, her brows are really light. Like, they're almost like a bleach blonde. But since I don't have bleach blonde hair, I tried to lighten my brows as best as I could by just using a brown eyeshadow. Usually, I would put black out here to make it a little bit more defined, but I just did brown all the way, and I used a dark matte brown eyeshadow for that. And I'm going to show you two ways on how you can do the eyelid because her eyelid uses Gleam eyeshadow which is like a pinky, orangey, coral, frosty color. So for this eye I'm going to use the Coral Crepe Paint Pot. And this was a limited edition product so if you don't have it I will show you the other way on here. But I'm going to put the Coral Crepe Paint Pot on my eyelid. And make sure you use an eyeshadow primer before you put on bases like this so that it doesn't crease. So since we have that coral undertone, we're going to put a frosty pink over it because Gleam is like a pinky frosty color with like that orangey coral undertone. So I'm just going to use Naked Lunch with a 239 brush. And then I'm going to place that all over that coral crepe base. I'm going to take it up right below my crease. So this is option number one for the lid color. If you don't have coral crepe, don't worry about it. I will show you the other way. I'm going to take another paint pot. This is Groundwork by MAC. and Or any neutral colored base that works with your skin color. This one works with mine. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And we're still going to use the Naked Lunch eyeshadow, but to bring in the corally undertones, we're going to mix it with Paradisco, which is right here. So this color and this color. I'm going to take the same brush. And what I'm doing is I'm just tapping it into here and then into there. And I'm just doing that back and forth a couple times. And then, just like what we did on the other eye, we're just going to place it all over that base and bring it up below our crease. So malt on my crease will not show up at all. So I'm going to use Espresso, which is just a matte dark brown eyeshadow. And I'm using the 217 brush. And looking down into a mirror, I'm going to find my socket right here. And that's where I'm going to place the color. So I'm going to start off with really light pressure of the brush. And I'm going to kind of bring it inwards because she has like that bone structure where her nose kind of recedes in right here. So I'm going to do the same thing. I should have done that on this side. I don't want it to be too dramatic. And as I'm getting to the con color consistency that I want, I'm putting a little bit more pressure onto my brush. Then with my Fluffy 224, I'm going to take a blank type. The face chart says to use Mylar, but I'm going to use blank type because that's what I have. And then I'm going to place this underneath my brow and then just blend it into the top of that espresso color. So for this inner corner, it says to use Crystal Avalanche. I'm going to use this Maybelline Eye Studio. This is Sapphire Siren and I'm going to take this frosty white color right here. If you have Vellum by MAC, you can use that too. I have it, but I didn't want to use it for this look because it has kind of like a lavender undertone and I just wanted a color that was strictly like a pearly white color. 
So I have that white color on my brush. And then I'm just going to place this on the inner tear duct. And I'm going to kind of bring it out here, just like that. And I'm going to wipe off my brush. And then I'm going to blend this out. If you need to go back to your fluffy blending brush and blend out this inner corner, you can do that as well. Then for my lower lash line, I'm taking an angled brush with that same espresso color. And I'm going to put it at the base of where my lashes grow. Then taking a 219 brush with the same espresso color, I'm going to blend it out. And I'm going to bring it down pretty far. But I want most of the color concentration to be where the root of my lashes is. I'm going to kind of extend it out here just a little bit, not too much. It says for the waterline to apply NC15 and NW20 chromographic pencils, but I'm going to use the Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Topaz. And I'm just going to run that on my waterline. All right, and then for my upper lash line, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Carbon Black. Any liquid eyeliner or even just regular black eyeliner will do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the line really thick throughout the top part of my eye. And not really winging it out. I'm just kind of making a little angle out there. Nothing fancy because we are going to be putting false eyelashes. So off camera, I'm going to do the eyeliner. And then for the eyelashes, I'm going to apply the Ardell Demi Wispies. So I'm not going to contour because in the promo picture, Lady Gaga's face is just very pale, but she does have a slight hint of peach on her cheeks. So I'm going to use my favorite blush style. Well, it's one of my favorite blushes, but I use it a lot. And I'm going to take my blush brush. Actually, this is a powder brush, but I use it for blush because it helps give, especially for this, like it helps give a really slight wash of color on the cheeks. So I'm just gonna place this on the apples of my cheeks. And of course, this look would not be complete without the lips. So I have the Viva Glam Gaga 2 lipstick and the Viva Glam Gaga 2, or yeah, Viva Glam Gaga 2 lip gloss. So I, prior to filming, I put on lip balm. And what I did just now is I just patted it off with a tissue so that my lips still retain the moisture, but I have a nice matte sort of like ungreasy surface to work with. So I'm going to take a mirror. I'm going to apply my lipstick. And then the lip gloss to finish off the look. So here is the completed and finished look from the Viva Glam Gaga 2 face chart. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have been waiting so long to do this face chart and I'm so happy that I have my lipstick now. And remember, these products go to a good cause. So I say go ahead and get them. They It's $14.50 for each of these and they help a man or a woman with AIDS. So that's something that's really, really awesome that I love that. Mac does. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. So take care, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!